Hey fam, welcome in. My name is Tam. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I am here to do your water sign reading, general reading for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate for everyone, so please take what you need and throw the rest out. Um, I am also posting this video um, on IGTV and my YouTube, so if you are watching this on YouTube and this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe as I'm trying to build my following. All right. <clears throat> Having said that, let's get started. These readings are a trip. So, you might be contemplating a move. I feel like you could be asking friends, you could be talking to other people, you know, um, in your research efforts, or just asking friends to see what they think about it going through a situation I see the tower is here so you've had some kind of foundational shakeup um, <clears throat> this could be one man dealing with three different women one yeah um, or two women at least <clears throat> Um, there is a decision or a need to make a decision between two things, two people that you are emotionally invested in towards the start of a new beginning in love. This is a deep soul connection. I do have counterparts on the board. I have the king and the queen of cups here, but I also have the queen of <clears throat> swords and the queen of wands. Virgo, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Leo. Any earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Aries. <clears throat> So, this feminine energy, the Queen of Wands, or Queen of Swords, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, I feel like there was a love offer. There, there was a love offer or an apology or someone's waiting for, oh, that's not a love offer. That's an apology. So, I feel like there's an apology that needs to take place after a tower moment so this tower because i feel like the tower has already fallen the foundation was not stable this crumbled to the ground this queen of swords energy she makes decisions based on things she's already experienced so if it looks like some bullshit smells like some bullshit the likelihood it's bullshit and so She's not here for it. She's cutting it out. And we've all been, we've kind of been embodying this Queen of Swords. A lot of the feminine energy, we've been embodying this Queen of Swords energy for quite some time, for a, a few months now. Um, but I see that there's healing. There has been some healing. There is some unconditional love here. There is um, a desire for union. There is a desire for coming together. At the center of the read, though, is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords has shown up a lot for water sign readings over the last few months, and I think it's it's partially because it's like you're, you might be lying to yourself. You might be lying to other people. You could be needing to make a decision And talking yourself into it, I feel like, it, for me, this card is giving me the the vibes of saying all the right things. It could be laced with a little bit of, mm, you know, half-truths or whatnot. Um, sounds pretty, but it might leave you a little bit conflicted mentally and emotionally. I see that you're working towards self-mastery. You are working, I, that and or, 
you are trying to one um, yeah this is mastering this is self mastery this is about finding the courage to work on yourself to build your foundation to build a stronger foundation and looking back I mean you're you could be there could be some impatience in this I sense a little I, I feel like very anxious I started feeling anxious when I started shuffling the cards um, you could be looking back at a situation and asking yourself you know looking back at all the time and energy that you've invested in a situation and wondering to yourself if you want to keep on going or not I do see I'm getting strong vibes of somebody's drinking a lot of drinking a lot of drinking slow down because all the cups are like hey it's a lot of cups here this is a lot of this is drinking for me somebody's drinking too much so I need you to slow down so with the temperance card it's also telling you that this new beginning that you have around the corner and you're working towards it it's right around the corner but you need to wait it, it's divine timing things happen in divine timing you've really been working and you're ready to take a leap of faith you've kind of surrendered I feel like you may have gone through an awakening you may have experienced an awakening where you're ready to surrender to the divine and you're ready to allow things to just unfold the way that they're supposed to you may be um, or somebody you are watching somebody or somebody is watching you I get the sense that it's you though are you checking somebody's social media almost stalking this is like stalking could be dealing with a fire sign I said that already for dealing with a fire sign or dealing with a, an air sign yeah working on this self mastery though I like it I like it but I get this tower I feel like the towers already happened like maybe someone cut out a situation and it caused it caused this tower moment like But there's love here there is love but with the with the with the um, lovers card there's a decision that needs to be made between two people or two things that you're deeply invested in a decision needs to be made and if you don't make the decision the decision is made for you by way of the tower is that what happened you didn't make the right decision or you didn't make a timely decision and the tower came down soulmates deep knowing fire signs also got this card the deep knowing card all right soulmates harmonious partnerships love friendship companionship a relationship fostering personal growth you are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing consciousness and authenticity it is always a reciprocal experience although the results for each of you will vary you know these people by the strong pull drawing you towards them and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially too soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life only for a short time no matter what you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now pay attention to these people today they are your greatest gifts i did say there were some counterparts and some soulmate energy here didn't i deep knowing intuition listening to the oracle within empathy hypersensitivity Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with source, the consciousness that you're a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. 
It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to access their inner guidance. Know that you have the ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what was available in the limitations of human experience. You're given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then act accordingly. You're now invited into the sacred dialogue of deep knowing, so tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive the answers from unusual sources. And incidentally, I have Pisces on the board, but Pisces is the most intuitive um, zodiac sign. So um, this is really, I don't have, I don't have the um, high priestess here on the board, but literally that card is calling you to use your intuition and um, follow your inner knowing because we all have it. Allow your inner knowing to guide you forward. I mean, everything is really good here. Um, you've got a new beginning on the horizon. You've got, um, you know, passionate new beginnings towards a, a solid foundation. Um, but you might need to get out of your head a little bit. And um, if there's self-sabotage or, or you've been self-sabotaging, we got to cut that out. Okay? All right. I uh, hope this re reading resonates for you. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you guys next week.